Hey there, it's Joe with Sonical Disruptive. How are you? I am well. New Spirit Box. I know it's been out for several days. I just haven't got a chance to do a video, so I haven't listened to it yet. But here we go. This is Hurt You. I know there is a million other reactions to it. Every time I go online, I a new one pops up. But I haven't watched it because I can't do that before listening to the song. You understand. Anyway, Spirit Box are one of those rare bands who have yet to make anything average even. Nothing bad and nothing even average yet. It's all been spectacular. Killer band, one of the best newer bands out there in the world today. Anyway, here we go. This is Spirit Box Hurts You off from their album eternal blue which comes out september 17th so we're coming up on it fairly soon anyway here we go spirit box hurts you starts right now
It was at a very abrupt ending. Okay, my first thoughts on this is there's a bit of a corn aspect here. The groove and the riff there reminds me a little bit of corn. Take that for what it's worth. That could be good or bad depending on your opinion of corn, I guess. But um, more basic from my first listen than than I'm used to from Spirit Box. There's not quite as many intricacies going on and textures going on in the music. This one feels much more straight ahead. It's driving. It's in your face. Courtney's voice is fantastic here. Cleans and growls. You got them both. But for me, this felt more predictable than every other Spirit Box song I've heard ever. Um, there's always some twists and turns and here there was nothing that surprised me. There was no twist that I didn't see. And you're going to have that. It's, you know, I'm not saying, oh man, this is so basic. It's not, but it's more basic than I'm used to from the band. So if you like the real straight ahead approach, you're going to love this song. It's really good. Me. I prefer a more not-so-straight-ahead approach most of the time. And especially from a band like Spearbox, I really like the unpredictable nature. I like not being able to guess exactly what's going to happen. And I feel this song has a little bit of that. Look, it's still a great song. Spearbox is a fantastic band, but... Um, I think it's probably my least favorite Spirit Box song, perhaps. Um, it just didn't. Some of their music is so just beautiful and powerful for me personally that it just strikes me right away. It's like, oh, that's nuts. This was, it's good. It's a good song. And that's not a bad thing. Saying it's a good song is not a bad thing, but uh, yeah, so there you go, cool song, but I hope we have a lot more twists and turns on the album coming up, which I am definitely sure we do, so anyway, there you go, thank you very much for watching, see ya.